Hey guys, this is Patrick from STH, and today we have something that I think is really exciting, and that is the Microtik CRS 326-24S Plus 2Q Plus RM. Now that is a total mouthful, but it actually kind of tells you what the product is, which is this, a 24 port SFP Plus switch with two QSFP Plus 40 gig ethernet ports. And here's the cool thing, this guy is only like $500, a lot of times even less than that. And for a switch that's low power, low cost, easy to deploy, this is something that I think a lot of our readers are really gonna like. Now, Rohit has the full review for STH on the STH main site. So you're probably gonna wanna check that out, but we wanted to go over some of the highlights of the unit here in this video, and then go check out the main site for the full review. Okay, so let's talk about why this thing is important first. So you get 24 SFP plus ports. This may not seem like a big deal, but we just did a review of the Microtik S plus RD10 module, which you can actually stick into these SFP plus cages. You can turn them into 10 G base T, you can turn them into N base T, so two and a half and five gig ethernet. So that may actually makes this switch enormously, enormously flexible. Now you also get two QSFP plus ports, which are 40 gig ethernet. And those are really important because those are what allow you to take something like a NAS or a you know, 40 gig ethernet device that needs more power and actually use it with 24 devices downstream. So such as servers or high-end workstations. So when you have two 40 gig ethernet ports plus the ability to do all kinds of things with 24 other ports, that actually creates a lot of value. Now, there are a couple things that we wanna talk about with this switch. So first off, it uses a lot more power than some of Microtik's lower end offerings. You know, at idle, you might see about 14, 15 watts. When you kind of get up into it, you know, we were seeing into about 60 watt range, 62 watts, and the maximum on the spec sheet is actually 69 watts. So it uses a lot more power than, you know, you typically would see. Performance wise, this is a level two switch. If you go into, sorry, layer two switch, if you go into anything else and you start doing layer three networking, I mean, it just doesn't have the performance to stack up to 10 and 40 gig ethernet speeds. It's just atrocious. So consider this really as just a very basic physical switch. And I think you're going to be fine if you think of it that way. Now, price wise, this thing's lists for about $500. We spent a little bit more than that with shipping to get one early. We've had it for months. And frankly, it's a great value because nowadays they're selling for even under $500. And you know, you can go onto the used market and you can get switches that seem good, but they're really just, you know, not as nice as having a new switch with redundant power supplies and, you know, something that you know is kind of new and more modern. This also has a web interface, which a lot of the ones on eBay or wherever you would get used products, they don't have that kind of web interface. So that's actually kind of something nice, especially for, you know, a home lab or somebody that just kind of wants to be able to set up VLANs very easily. We wanted to give folks an idea of just how loud this switch is. So we took a recording. This is what it actually sounds like when it's running. Here's the deal. You can hear me over it because I have different mics set up but you really don't want this running in the same office as you know, you're gonna be sitting. You want it in an equipment closet or somewhere that people are not gonna be all day long. Overall, I would say that this is not the absolute perfect switch, but it's definitely a good tool that I think a lot of our readers and a lot of you on YouTube are really gonna like. So check out Rohit's full review and learn a little bit more about the switch. Thanks for watching.